Hey guys, it is Monday and it's a special week because we're starting our new training cycle. So uh, for those of you that have been around since we reopened, uh, we're gonna actually repeat a very similar strength cycle. So we started off really easy. Uh, if you um, started on day one last time, we we're repeating our five rep max back squat. So you can really go for it because you've been training consistently for the last five weeks. You have a baseline for what you're trying to work off of. If you have not, or you're just restarting the cycle for the first time, you're gonna be setting a baseline. Don't go to failure, but uh, the, we're gonna take 20 minutes and find our five rep max back squat. And this is the number that we're gonna use for our percentages over the next five weeks, all right? So just again, a couple quick reminders is when you get to that heavy set, it's not fast up and down, okay? In those warm up sets, and when you get to the set, take your time at the top of each rep to get the best setup possible, all right? So when you stand up, come straight up, take a step back, set your feet, big breath. Stand up all the way, reset your breath. Okay? Um, we always prioritize good position here. So you wanna make sure you're getting good depth. It's not just weight on the bar, but good range of motion. I remind people our back squats are not just for the sake of back squatting, but the stronger you get here, the easier all of your wall balls, thrusters, goblet squats, all that stuff gets, and we wanna reinforce good deep squats, okay? So don't go heavy and, and go shallow. Try to get good range of motion, and that'll translate to your conditioning better, all right? From there, we're gonna go into uh, some interval work. It's gonna be three minutes to complete 10 toes to bar, 20 goblet squats, and with the remaining time in the three minutes, you're gonna do as many uh, burpee box jump overs that you can do, all right? So, quick review of toes to bar, okay? So, again, for toes to bar, I always talk about making sure your legs don't go way out in front of you. If you keep your legs straight, it gets you really strong, but it's not as efficient. We wanna stay as close to the bar as we can. Flexibility will matter here. Um, notice I don't lean back too much. So, I get a little arch, and I try to stay pretty tight under the bar if you see that, right? I don't, I don't come back too far, so I'm trying to use my hip flexors and my flexibility to my advantage. Um, if it's hard for you to touch your toes to the bar, I do remind people there is a middle where you go just kind of eye level, where you're working up, you can't touch yet, okay? But you're getting close. Of course, you can go down to the knee raise. This is the most common scale, okay? And then if you have any grip or shoulder issues, a scale that a lot of people miss is keeping your feet on the ground. Get these out of the way. If you keep your feet on the ground, find a bar, this is a nice height for me, where every rep, my hands and shoulders are gonna get a break and I can just lift and come back to standing so I don't have tension in my hands the whole time. Of course, if you have any problems with um, hanging on the bar at all, just going to the floor and doing some V-ups or tuck-ups is always a great option, okay? It's only 10, so maybe you're gonna do singles on the toes to bar if you need. This is a great challenge for you. From there, we're gonna go over to our box and kettlebell. This is gonna be 20 goblet squats, all right? Bring the goblet, or bring the kettlebell up to that front squat position. Good deep squats, 20 reps, okay? Nothing too fancy here. There's a lot of ways that you can hold the kettlebell dumbbell, whatever you're gonna use. And finishing off on the burpee box jump overs, all right? So it doesn't say if you have to be perpendicular or lateral, just get your body to the floor, okay? When you come forward, you can do lateral. You don't have to stand up on top of the box, just get to the other side, okay? If you do it perpendicular, it's a little more challenging because when I do the burpee now, I'm further away from the box, okay? But again, just jump two-footed. I always say this with any type of box jump. Our goal is the explosive aspect. So instead of doing a burpee step over, okay, at a higher height, scale down the height of the box so that you can actually do a jump unless you have some type of injury. But the box jump overs are gonna be your score. Do as many as you can up until the three minute mark. You rest a minute and then repeat the whole thing again. See how many total burpee box jump overs you can get. Okay, the, uh, the goblet squat, if you go lighter, that means you're gonna go fast and unbroken, and then you're gonna have more time here. If you challenge yourself on the goblet squat weight, you might have to break it up into two sets. It might slow you down a little bit. 
and that's going to be less reps on the burpee box jump over. No right or wrong answer, but that's it for today, guys. Have fun. See you tomorrow.